I, I am very familiar with Cedar Rapids, and I hope Cedar Rapidians consider themselves lucky to have me in this position. But I have four states that uh, in, are in my region, and it's is important for me to have um, a good rapport with the other communities and states in the region as it is Iowa and Cedar Rapids. It's it's my goal to make sure that Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and every other community in my region gets every penny they're entitled to when it comes to disaster funding. But it's also my goal to make sure that I'm a good steward of the tax dollar and that we are not spending it on wasteful projects as well. Is it okay that people like Mayor Corbett, for instance, yeah, I think they sort of feel in Cedar Rapids like they can get Beth Freeman on the phone. Well, they can. I think almost everybody in Cedar Rapids knows where to find me. But that doesn't change the fact that I still have to, when I'm making a decision on a project, have to look at the law, I have to look at the regulations, and make sure that it is a good project. And Beth, we talked a little bit upstairs about the library, and there mm -hmm. seemed to be... Um, um, a little bit of confusion locally about uh, 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 where it was, what FEMA's support was going to be for that, and FEMA seemed to shift gears a little bit. Can you talk to us just a little bit about sure. uh, it? It's really important. FEMA will fund the least cost on a project, um, and that's to preserve tax dollars. Um, again, we don't want to be wasteful, but we do want to make sure that there are good projects out there, and we're spending the tax dollar in a wise manner. So we always will go with the, with the least cost option. In the case of the Cedar Rapids Library, the least cost option, which would be going back to the original library, flood proofing it or making it flood resistant, um, would be just slightly less costly than going to the Emerald Knights location. And so we just made the decision that we would go with the Emerald Knights location. The city can now do build the library pretty much wherever they want to, but the city will have to come up with any difference in the funding. And your, what's your th uh, thought, Beth, about uh, the job FEMA's done in Cedar Rapids and uh, overall? Well, I think in Cedar Rapids and across the state of Iowa, FEMA's done a pretty good job. Um, I thought that before I came to FEMA, so um, I, I don't think I'm being too uh, prejudicial as my role now as the regional administrator. But, uh, you know, we're working hard up there. We still have quite a few projects that we're working on. The, the big, hard, difficult projects are the ones that are left. Um, we've done over um, 11,000 projects in Iowa, and that's, that's, a, that's a big, big disaster. And so... And you're uh, done with most of those. We're said. done with a good majority of them. And, uh, but the, the hard stuff is what's left, naturally. The, the easy stuff is, has been taken care of. And um, I asked you a little bit upstairs, too, about Katrina, mm -hmm. and that FEMA maybe had taken some lumps uh, yeah. uh, from Katrina. Um, is the, Are you still carrying that around? Are you still carrying the sort of uh, how I, fair or unfair that was? I don't really think we are, particularly in Iowa. I think um, most people had a very good uh, experience with FEMA in 2008, and I don't think um, uh, that... that we really carry that weight anymore. We may have at the beginning of, of the disaster, but when they saw how responsive FEMA was and how, how caring and compassionate the FEMA people that were on the ground were, that changed pretty quickly.